Hi everyone, uh, it's been a while. Today I am talking about products from a company called Heliocare and what um, amazed me about them is that they have a tinted mineral sunscreen. You had me right. So please follow the Heliocare page on Instagram or whatever social media platform you're on. Though um, they let me know that they are um, actually just on Instagram. So you can see this. It's called Heliocare 360. And it says mineral tolerance fluid. It's a sunscreen protector, solar sensitive and intolerant for sensitive and intolerant skin. And those of you who've been following me know that I recommend mineral sunscreens, especially for those of you who are new to what we call skin barrier repair. You are new to skincare. You've never had skincare routines of any kind. The best sunscreens to start with are mineral sunscreens because they are hypoallergenic. Chemical sunscreens tend to have um, ingredients that make you allergic. So your mineral sunscreen should always say mineral at the front. That's how you know what type of sunscreen it is. Those who've been following me, by the way, I made my own nails. This is poly gel. I'm still a beginner, but I'm so proud of myself. They can look better, but hey, I'm happy um, of what I've done. So this is a, an SPF 50. We usually recommend you to do 30 and above. So usually your sunscreen should indicate um, at the packaging that they are broad spectrum, meaning they cover both UVB and UVA. So this this Heliocare is actually a branch of a pharmaceutical company so called Dawa. And so you'll notice that the these are actually Damo cosmetic products. So they are um intended for use uh, both medically and just cosmetically without any dermatologist guidance oh i'm a bit shiny today I'm not sure what i applied what did i oh today i did vitamin c vitamin e um aloe vera and my sunscreen uh i'll talk about why i apply aloe vera with sunscreen sometime so Helio Care 360 degrees mineral tolerance fluid sunscreen for sensitive and intolerant skin SPF 50. It's a high photoimmunoprotection with exclusive 100% mineral filter formulation specifically designed for sensitive intolerant skin. It provides broad spectrum protection against UVA, UVB, visible light, and IRA, and is enriched with fan block and other actives for powerful antioxidant and repair activity. It has an ultra smooth texture, easy to spread. Truthfully, I tried it. When they say easy to spread, they meant it because it's tinted. It's rare to get tinted mineral sunscreen here. So, look the mineral sunscreen is tinted Ooh, i poured some so shake it a bit because it gets liquid when it settles it's actually quite liquid and it's a mineral sunscreen so you can see when i've poured here how it shows the tint yeah so when you blend it you see and i usually tell people your sunscreen usually only leaves a white cast look at that almost clear it only leaves a white cast if you do not have enough hydration on your skin. So, yeah, let me wipe that off. I um, For the people who I recommend mineral sunscreen for, I will definitely be sending you to the Heliocare page. Because you can see their mineral sunscreen is very easy to apply. I absolutely love that. I'm just in love with that. So if you're following our Skin Studio workshop uh, group, just know that when we hold a free workshop for you guys, that um, if you want, there will be an option. And I'm sharing that on the page. Um, we'll give you the date for the workshop. But for those of you who would like me to create for you a personal care regimen, like, oh my God, let me just had my face dry and shining okay 
So this is our makeup studio at Skin Studio KE. Remember, we do personal care all around. Like, we take care of you, top to toe. Like, even when you finish your regimens with me, we will teach you how to start applying makeup if you're not too sure of what makeup suits you now that your skin has adjusted. Now, if any of you will be interested, so the workshop itself, attendance is free. But high priority is given because we have a lot of women signed up actually at the moment the reason why we've not set the date for the workshop that we had uh mentioned that we were also doing for fillerinas because we had a lot of signups but we want to give high priority to the ladies who also sign up to have a personal care package done for, by me so now what will happen um on those days is that each of you who signs up to get a personal care package and pays the 3,000 Kenya shillings. Actually, no, the attendance fee is usually 2,500, yeah. So if you pay the 2,500 attendance fee, then it allows me to actually create for you a personal care package. So a personal care package goes deeper than the consultations that you will regularly see me do um, when we are at the beauty stores because we don't have enough time. A personal care package indulges you from top to toe. Like we'll talk about your scalp, we'll talk about your skin, we'll talk about your nails, we'll talk about every single thing that concerns your appearance dermatologically on that day so you're able to come out with a more um, comprehensive opinion about your body about your problems because I realized when I was doing consultations for you and that's actually why I made an announcement the other day that I feel like I'm I'm growing and I would like to also see that growth in the kind of consultations I do now, many of you probably don't understand the difference between me and the dermatologist that you will see regularly at the hospital or clinic. I focus more on giving you a wholesome routine from your top to your toe. A wholesome routine, even for your medical condition, if it is at a grade that we can deal with um, at such an engagement, Rather than when you actually see a medical doctor in a hospital or clinic and they just give you a prescription. You know, even for acne, there are different ways of dealing it, dealing with it. Like, for example, for those of you whom we've categorized as hormonal, and I have content on hormonal acne on my Instagram, The Beauty Cafe with Dr. Nyorita. So if you go through that, you will understand whether you're in that category. Hormonal acne clients are those who usually had no acne at all um, and just erupted above the age of 21. And most of them have a severe grade of acne that you'd usually know is um, severe by the dark marks it leaves. So we usually say that if you're over the age of 21 and you had a clear face and you all of a sudden broke up from nowhere and your marks and your acne is leaving dark marks, you're most likely in the hormonal acne category, highly likely. And if you're highly likely in the hormonal acne category, you need to create time to see a clinical dermatologist. So there are different ways with which we deal with this grade of uh, with this kind of acne depending on the severity like if you've not reached the category severe because severe we usually will have to give you hormonal treatment there's no other choice if you're let's say moderate or most times hormonal acne is not mild it's moderate to severe if you're at moderate then we usually can consider you can go on anti-inflammatory antibiotics for some time you may not need to do the hormonal treatments and you will be okay but when you're at severe you do need the hormonal treatments and that's why you'll notice that for some of you when i see you at the beauty stores i send you directly to my colleagues because you need better follow-up and i usually show up at the beauty stores when i feel like so you see that's not really um a, a great place for you to start you need some firm and keen follow-up the other thing i'm noticing with you guys is that you see now what i was saying is for moderate hormonal acne or moderate adult acne which most of you have i teach you on routines you see most times when you see the dharma some of them may give you a quick fix some of us can give you a quick fix uh through using hormonal drugs um when you're 
uh, severity of acne can actually be treated using a good skincare routine, which is actually what estheticians out here are teaching you. You will find that most of them cannot give you prescription strength drugs, but they're able to give you an improvement in your skincare. My only problem with the estheticians we have here is that they're not medical estheticians because ideally in the beauty industry, you're supposed to either see for medical disorders like acne, you're supposed to either see a medical esthetician, a um, honestly not sure we have medical estheticians in this country because i don't know their credentials you will notice that somebody calls themselves a medical aestheticians but doesn't completely spell out their cred credentials you will notice when you come to my page that i have followed the system that um developed countries follow where i spell out my credentials i spell out what certificates i have so that you know who you're seeing and that's what i advocate for all of you who have a dermatological disorder be it a hair issue be it a skin issue nails issue please make sure that the person that you're seeing has some medical certification okay so you usually will see a medical aesthetician talking about their uh, the, about their credentials on their page or outlining their certification and i've never really seen that on kenyan uh, pages do you see some of them calling themselves medical aestheticians i'm not sure what schools they went to like i usually will spell out what schools i have gone to so i don't understand why we don't have that transparency and i even cautioned you against some of our medical practitioners in this beauty industry who will call themselves let's say clinical dermatologists but they also do not show spell out their credentials do not speak about the schools they went to the particular certification they took because also let me give you an example you know there are medical photos i don't share with you guys on the pages that you follow me on there are some pages i share medical photos on there are some i haven't because some things are just medical and if you see the kind of things we deal with as clinical dermatologists, it's not these cosmetic things you guys are, are used to. And I think that's why you've not even grasped the importance of a clinical dermatologist. You will realize why we really need to be sensitive about qualifications. Like the other day, I saw a lady with suspected DLE, discoid lupus erythematosus, erythematosus which is which can actually be a fatal condition. She'd been seen at casino for years and she was actually going into scarring alopecia and she had not realized that by the time she's not getting progress for her condition, at least within six months of following a certain cadre of clinician, it's best for her to progress upwards. So by the time she actually saw a medical doctor, clinical dermatologist, one of the seniors in the field, it was almost a bit too late. She had lost a significant amount of her hair and you know, it's carrying alopecia, getting regrowth is a problem. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that I've noticed that I'm growing in my career and I feel like the space that most of you are at doesn't quite understand what a clinical dermatologist is and why I have online presence so strongly. So that's why you will see that I made an announcement that from, from at least October, First, from October 1st, I'm not going to be taking physical consultations for any ladies below the age of 35. It's something I'm really adamant about because I've noticed when I'm following up, um, you guys, I, I, I tend to notice, I'm 35 years myself, I tend to notice that by the time ladies get to my age, they're a bit more patient with themselves. They're also more exposed. So by the time you're giving them information, also most of them will have followed me online and are very familiar with my content. By the time you're giving them information, it becomes easier to flow. I'm not being um, discriminatory, but I just notice most of you young ladies are not really ready. You're not ready for upgrades. So it becomes so, so uh, problematic. Like when I see you during consultations and I'm trying to coach you into creating AM and PM regimens, because I think you also don't understand the difference between me and your regular clinical dermatologist. For me, um, helping you take care of yourself comes from a passion I have because I was a dermatological patient also before I became a dermatologist. And I saw the improvement that I had when I started absorbing content online. I wasn't even a dermatologist 
yet i had not even really finished med school very well but i started absorbing content online that dermatologists were putting about personal care and that was just a personal decision and me actually producing content for you guys came out of that personal decision to become a better version of myself and take people along on that journey who feel like they also want to grow about how they groom and also base it on science so I feel like, yes, I've done my part as a clinician on public health awareness. I cannot save everybody. I just came to that conclusion. I've been really using a lot of energy, by the way, online for those who've known me to teach people. And you guys have seen me grow for those who've been following me for a long, long time. But I think it's just about, about time that I step back a little bit. I want you guys to actually experience other clinical dermatologists for um uh elective cases things that are not quite emergencies they're not very severe so that you can actually understand the value that i give to you over and above what your ordinary hospital consultations will be so for people who are below the age of 35 i've felt that it's much better to actually see you during workshops and that's why i'm partnering with food for riverside drive to create workshops for you to help you through your skincare regimens some of you i will send you to as near you under your insurance or whatever but i prefer to see you guys as a group because i feel like you learn better that way and then for people who are just a bit more mature and just a bit more patient with themselves then we will have the one-on-one -on -one consultations anyway i digressed so when i'm sitting in beauty stores sometimes we're out of stock of mineral sunscreens and most of you are usually complaining to me oh my goodness the sunscreen is leaving a white cast it's a mineral sunscreen i look like a ghost so Helio Care has a solution for you. So go to their Instagram page and I'm going to put the link for their page on the um, comment section. Please go check their Instagram page. If I ever recommend mineral sunscreen to you, Tinted is a great solution. So have a look at that and it's an SPF 50. Now, other than that, one other thing I love that they have is a chemical sunscreen that's a gel. You know, because chemical sunscreens can also have the white cast, because some of them also have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which is present in mineral sunscreen. So I was reading this and it came to this place that it said, it is easy to spread and quickly absorbed. You saw that on my hands. It's tested in sensitive skin under dermatological and ophthalmologic control. It's hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, water resistant, no whitening effect. I can attest to that. So be sure, I am definitely going to be buying Heliocare Mineral Sunscreen because I love tinted sunscreen. So it's for external use. Avoid direct contact with eyes and mucous membranes. Like bringing this to your attention is, is so important. Like one of the challenges I had when I started sitting at beauty stores with you guys is that I give you so much information on how to apply your skincare, but you don't follow because you're so quick. You don't want to watch videos. You don't want to look at instructions. You don't want to wait. Immediately buy the products, use them. Why are you using medical products without instructions when the person who prescribed them to you told you strictly, do not use them without instructions? So for example, um, one of you had a benzoyl peroxide 10% cleanser. She applied it literally on her eyes. She had swelling of the eyes, unfortunately had to be taken to hospital for hydrocortisone shot and had to be referred to one of my seniors. That's how bad it gets. So guys, I'm really asking you to understand that skincare has very many aspects. You can either be dealing with a dermatological condition for skin through a routine, if it's all the way up to moderate, or you can deal with it through oral medication. For example, if you go to the senior dermas, they will most times give you or oral or hormonal medication, but you know what the challenge is. You don't know how to take care of your skin after. You don't know how to. The attack therapy is great. For your six to nine months of attack therapy, you're fine. Or for your eight weeks of attack therapy, you're fine. But your maintenance regimen is where most of you fail. And you see, I start you on a maintenance and attack 
regimen from the first consultation that's how i shorten your um your healing journey for you but you see if you're not mature enough to understand that because i've also found that people who've seen other damas before always have an easier time with me because you could identify the places you went wrong you could identify that you were given instructions after the first visit to go back after one month you did not you could identify the fact that you were really, really dry during those regimens and there was nobody to ask what to do. And I give you those solutions and I coach you on WhatsApp every step of the way. You can identify the fact that your senior damas or other damas are so busy. They do not have time to actually attend to you one on one. And I do that. But when I meet people who are very naive and that's why I have changed my niche you find that they do not really understand the difference so even if you tell them read the product before you use it it says avoid direct contact with eyes and mucous membranes you find that somebody went and washed her whole face with a very potent active ingredient and ended up injuring herself you have to follow content guys there is no shortcut with skincare especially active ingredients there's no shortcut even if it's sunscreen i've mentioned on a group on facebook glam life sunscreen is an active ingredient it can irritate you just don't apply it like water anyway i digress avoid sun exposure at peak hours peak hours at 10 a.m to 4 p.m when sun is strongest wear protective clothing i've already talked about in that in my content sun protection a hat and sunglasses babies and young children should not be exposed to direct sun helio 360 degrees mineral tolerance that's why i read for you guys what these packages say because i know that most of you will not read solar uh you know that is in french so these are other so if you want to know that a product is actually a mineral uh, sunscreen it lacks the ingredients seen in chemical sunscreens and if you want to know the ingredients seen in chemical sunscreens then you just google chemical sunscreen ingredients you will notice that they're not present here so if you actually look at the ingredients on this pack it has no ingredients that are found um are uh, ingredients that make chemical sunscreen chemical sunscreen and, and i've already mentioned that in my content so i already showed you how this looks this is definitely one of my favorites T mineral tinted sunscreens by helio care oh so i was talking about so i won't read um okay i'll read that so this is their gel chemical sunscreen formulation and i love gel chemical sunscreen formulations for people i'm treating for acne because sometimes we find it so hard to get mineral sunscreens for you which are the best you also find hard to use mineral sunscreens because of the cast so we recommend something that doesn't leave you oily because why we don't like chemical sunscreens is because they have the oily feel like you can see today i've applied the biobalance like i'm not an oily person but this is the biobalance chemical sunscreen i am shining and it's one of my favorites and we don't like you to have a shiny look when you are um, acne prone or oily or seborrheic. So this will not give you an oily look. It's a gel sunscreen from Heliocare. And it says that it's very high photoimmunoprotection. Remember that the sun damages the immune system of the skin. Every extra hour you're exposed beyond where your Fitzpatrick dictates, if you're Fitzpatrick 6, one hour is okay. It's safe. Beyond that, you're damaging the immune system of the skin. It won't be healthy enough to fight any problems. Beyond 30 minutes for me, who is a Fitzpatrick 5, you also wouldn't be able to fight off immune, immune attacks because you've damaged your immune system. For people with Fitzpatrick 4 going up, 20 minutes going up, it's too much. So that's why they say photoimmunoprotection because sunscreens also protect your immune system of the cells. So its unique combination of advanced filters and exclusive ingredients provide broad spectrum protection against UVA, UVB, visible light, and IRA. Now, for us who are in med school, we were taught in dermatology, we were taught that different lights affect different people differently. So there are people who have like 
uh, dermatologic conditions, let's say like something called porphyria, which makes them allergic to the sun, literally. So for them, when you're looking for a sunscreen, and that's why this is actually under a pharmaceutical company. When you're looking for sunscreen, you look for sunscreens that not only protect them against UVA and UVB, but also quote that they protect against visible light. We don't want them to have any kind of light affecting their skin because immediately the light hits their skin, they react and can actually die from those reactions. That's how powerful the sun is. So it's suitable for all skin types, non-comedogenic, tested under dermatological and ophthalmological control. Apply evenly and generously before sun exposure. Reapply frequently, especially after swimming or sweating. Um, everything else is just like what I read in the other one. I just wanted to note the ingredients. So how do you know the difference between a, a chemical sunscreen and a mineral sunscreen? So this one in particular, there are chemical sunscreens that have zinc oxide and titanium oxide, also like um, physical sunscreen. There are chemical sunscreens that have zinc oxide and titanium ox dioxide like physical sunscreens but i love this one because it's purely physical like it doesn't have the physic the zinc oxide and titanium oxide so you'd actually know the difference this one has zinc oxide and titanium oxide this one doesn't and the chemical sunscreens that have some zinc oxide and titanium oxide usually do leave a white cast i love that for them um helio care is definitely a brand i will follow and i want to also be including them in my workshops now um this is uh they have hypoallergenic sunscreens for children i absolutely loved this um heliocare pediatrics so if you are a mother who's also keen on protecting the skin of your children not only do you buy yourself mineral sunscreens but you also order for them hypoallergenic versions of sunscreen like this is a mineral for kids i always recommend mineral because it's hypoallergenic so this is a mineral pediatrics version that's probably made even more hypoallergenic than the regular mineral so i have uh that the other thing i loved about them and i have some clients who follow me who fall in this category like you will read this like people with vitiligo or other pigmentary disorders that make them produce less melanin pigments so they're very very uh, sensitive to the sun so they have this particular one it's called helio care 360 degrees md and any of my loves with vitiligo who's following me will love this this one is called an ak fluid because it was actually created for caucasians for example or fair-skinned individuals who show this kind of sun damage we call actinic keratosis like you've ever seen caucasians with those small spots i think they call them liver spots or whatever they call them in layman's terms we call that actinic keratosis and they are usually precursors they can be precursors of malignancies that are related to overexposure to the sun and that's why we have to be particular about them like this one it's an spf 100 plus because there are people who cannot dare to be out of the sun, out in the sun, getting even the minimum, the most minimal exposure. Like there are people in that category. So you'll read this. It says, AK fluid prevention and adjuvant treatment of actinic, actinic keratosis. Now, like for me, if I ever see a client who I can tell has enough sun damage to lead to being a precursor of a, uh, uh, of a malignancy, um, of a skin cancer, I will give them this really high protection. And I will also use this high protection when I go to the coast, cause me, I turn easily. So I would recommend this HelioCare 100 plus. If you're ever taking a trip to the coast, please stock up on this HelioCare because it has very high protection and will definitely guarantee you no tanning so if applied well indications fluid indicated for the prevention prevention and protective adjuvant treatment adjuvant treatment in medicine just means supportive therapy for something else that's a definitive treatment and those of you who follow me maybe when i write things on social media i usually say um there's a difference between the treatments we give there's definitive treatment which is geared towards treating your condition then there's adjuvant treatment which is geared towards supporting the definitive treatment so that's why they class it they were categorical to say adjuvant treatment because then that tells you that you do have to get the treatment for that actinic keratosis this just supports the definitive treatment so um and other forms of non-melanoma skin cancer 
so in skin cancer we have melanoma non melanoma so a large number of the cancers will be non melanoma and that's a bit too deep for you guys but those who are following me medically will understand what i mean it's a combination of advanced filters forms a protective film over skin which provides a physical barrier my gosh this guy's answered my prayers because i used to post this on my page like i'm looking for actual sun protection um agents that work for people who have skin diseases actual dermatological diseases because we didn't have enough knowledge about sunscreen in the country and these are people trying to penetrate and um and and share that knowledge so oof. okay Protective film over skin which provides a physical barrier against solar radiation. In addition, fan block with powerful antioxidant activity and general repair complex combination of repair enzymes photo layer. So definitely this repairs your sun damage well. So that's why I would recommend this for anybody who lives in sunny areas. If you live at the coast, if you live at Kisumu and you're able to grab like many of this, this one, a hundred plus, you're on point. You're on point. You are on point. So, it has glycosylase, endonuclease, help prevent and repair actinic damage, that's such damage from the sun. For external use, apply even and generously before sun exposure, reapply frequently every two hours at least, especially under direct or intense exposure, exposure conditions. Apply only to clean intact skin, because this is for people whose skin is really sun damage, gets really sun damage. In the case of skin undergoing pharmacological treatment, which is most of you who follow me, or surgery for actinic keratosis or, or non-melanoma skin cancer, only use once lesions have healed. So definitely this is something the dama will tell you about when they're prescribing it to you. They will just prescribe it just like that. So keep watching my content. You learn a lot. Now, um, they also have a mattifying cleanser, which is also a favorite for me because um, I'm not necessarily oily or acne prone, but I will recommend this for people who are oily or acne prone. Acne prone. As I said, this is a, it is a branch of a pharmaceutical company. So that's why their products almost look dermal cosmetic. So this says cleanser, purifying cleansing gel. It's called Bire Biretics by Cantabria Labs. And you can see this in their page. So it says moisturizing, mattifying cleansers. These are things we like, especially when you have acne, because we not only want you to strip off a little bit of your sebum, but also have a moisturizing feel. And I teach you guys how to still say moisturize when you're doing your acne treatments. So the uh, last, uh, I'm still going on. So the other thing I love that they have is this, they have an eye contour anti-dark circles um, cream. What I loved about this cream is that number one, it's tinted. It has caffeine, but not only caffeine. It also has a tyrosinase inhibitor, tranexamic acid. So it's very good for those of you who have um, dark under eye circles. Like as you're preparing to see the dama, you can reach out to this. It's called Endocare Radiance. Endocare Radiance. Yeah. Eye contour anti-dark circles. For all skin types <sighs> so let's see where it talks about english endocare radiance eye contour anti-dark circles anti-pollution antioxidant anti-fatigue yeah so you look less fatigued because less fatigue because the caffeine will help to re remove your extra fluids so your eyes don't look so puffy it's a daily anti-aging protection against damage caused by aggressive external factors like uv pollution etc with the ingredients with smoothing and brightening activity for a radiant eye contour area. It has Edefence technology, which helps protect against pollution. It has di titanium dioxide, so it actually has some sun protection. It helps protect against UV, including blue light. While vitamin C, blue light is what you get from your screen, so nice has vitamin c vitamin c for me i usually tell you guys it stabilizes your collagen so that your collagen doesn't break down so that your eyes don't look sunken it has niacinamide which stabilizes your skin barrier so that you don't react so much in the under eyes for those of you also itch it has tranexamic acid that's what i love it has a tyrosinase inhibitor which lightens dark circles it has caffeine which reduces bugs and puffiness and it's suitable for sensitive skin and eyes so um instructions for use apply a small amount in the morning gently patting until fully absorbed 
Precautions, external use only in case of irritation or into high concentration of active ingredients, space out applications. There's nothing wrong with getting irritations when you're on a Dharma regimen. It's when you stop the regimens that you create a problem because it means there's an ongoing healing process that you're stopping. So space out applications until the skin becomes accustomed or suspend application. I usually tell you guys, just apply a bit of emollient if these active ingredients are irritating you. Wash hands after application, avoid direct contact with eyes. I always, always mention avoid direct contact with, contact with eyes. I just want people to listen more. I'm tired of dealing with people who don't listen, guys. I am tired, like very, very tired. I like people who listen. I like people who listen because when you listen, you get good results. But if you don't listen, you end up in the hospital. So they also have this biotics still in the biotics range. Biotics, biotics. My lighting is so bright. You can see that. This is just it's it's a sample, but this is a product called Triactive. It's an anti-blemish gel. It's keratolytic and sebum regulating so the thing is by the time most of you come to see me or anybody else you're seeing for skin wellness you usually have about six layers and more of dead skin cells because we slow down on our cell time over as we grow older and then the more dehydrated you are the more you slow down the more sun damage you are the more you slow down so most of you come with sun damage from the first 18 years of your life which is where we get 80% of the sun damage that makes our skin looks bad after 18 years. And that's why you say retinoids ideally should be started over the age of 20, especially when you are Fitzpatrick 1 to 5. And I've already talked about that in my platforms. Now, for those of you who are just oily, like you've not started breaking out or anything, you're just an oily mess, please, you can try this Biotics Triactive Anti Blemish Gel. Only if you're oily and you never get breakouts. Like you're, you look oily and you never get breakouts. Are we together? Why I'm recommending that is because um, I think if I'm not wrong, it said that it's a keratolytic, but sebum regulating. Let me just see. I didn't get the box. I thought she said that this has a retinoid. It probably has a retinoid, but you guys check for it. Biotics Triactive Anti Blemish Gel. Anti Blemish Gel. Um, check their Biotics Triactive. Or whatever range especially if like even this cleanser especially if you're just an oily girl who's never had breakouts but you want to control the oil because this is mattifying and this has a retinoid and keratolytic so it will remove your dead skin cells because most of you also shine because you have layers of dead skin cells that have overproduction of sebum in them so the sebum is just sitting on the dead skin cells you'll shine dead skin cells are scale you will shine so you can consider this biotics gel um something gentle to use probably see if it takes you well if you might go well on it you don't need to see adama you'll have managed your skin so they also have this um because i work out she gave me samples there's a biofreeze pain relieving gel there's a biofreeze pain relieving spray there's a biofreeze pain relieving roller and i'll give the gel to my gym instructor as a thank you so anyway guys that's the end of the content of the day please stay tuned to learn about the workshops that i will be holding at double dsk and i look forward to meeting you guys bye